I'm on with Louise. You're wearing your wedding ring. I know I'm not supposed to, but I couldn't resist. Who's that, Teresa? Yes. Sheridan, you know it's bad luck to put the ring on before the wedding. I mean, Mama says once you put it on, then it has to be on forever. Teresa, honey, lighten up. It's probably okay. But this is serious. Look, I appreciate your concern, but I'm not superstitious anymore. Sheridan, let's not do fate. You know, it's just not a good idea. Well, don't listen to her. She's as superstitious as they come. make you feel better, I'll take it off. I mean, maybe you're right. I should wait until tomorrow. And you can hold off one more day. <laughs> yeah. Now, I believe we were going to fix you something to eat. Your sister's sweet. Yeah, but nuts. And I can't even believe how seriously she takes all these wedding superstitions and and when it comes to tempting fate, uh, whoever does it. Oh. Should I just go with me? I just, I just feel a little sick. Sick? What kind of sick? What's wrong? What is it? Sharon? Is it, I'm just dizzy. You all right? I don't know. I, I, it just hit me, my, my, my head. Sharon? How are you going to find out who leaked my paternity to the tabloid? Well, Jerry here is still working undercover at the RAG, right? Trying to find out who sent the email? Yeah. We still got a key to the office, right? Sure. <laughs> That's the plan. I just wait till it's very late and use Jerry's key to gain entrance into the building. Eventually, I'll find what I'm looking for. That's it. Nothing to it. Chad, that is way too risky. Oh, come on. Have a little faith in me, will you? Hey, look, Ethan. I just want to make sure that when you walk down that aisle, you know the name of the punk who sold you out and tried to ruin your life. <laughs>